Hello and welcome to the Docker for ASP.NET Core course. My name is Chris Small. I've been working with the .NET framework since version 1.1, around 2001, and the .NET Core and .NET Standard framework since the betas, and Docker alongside them. I'm a software and DevOps engineer working with high volume, low latency ASP.NET Core Docker systems, where the application's performance is critical to its throughput and scalability is essential. Part of my role involves ensuring our systems are easy to deploy and scale up and down with minimal downtime and effort on the part of the developers running the CI and CD systems. I believe that an effective streamlined CI and CD system is key to the success of a software project, making it fast to iterate and lowering friction and stress for the developer. In my view, Docker is the best tool for helping an ASP.NET Core application achieve this. Let's have a look at what we'll learn in this course. The course is broken down into five manageable sections. We start by preparing ourselves to develop ASP.NET Core applications in Docker, getting hands-on straight from the start. In the course, we are using Linux to run our container, but develop on a Windows machine. The section shows us installing Docker for Windows and accompanying development tools, refreshing our memories with the Docker command line, looking at Microsoft's new application HTTP server Kestrel, and building and running a very basic Hello World ASP.NET Core application inside Docker. Our second section gets us started with a more advanced real-world example of an ASP.NET Core application running inside a Docker container. For this, we will be using an example ASP.NET Core application called NoopTime, an open source app hosted on GitHub. Moving on to section three, we take the NoopTime application we have previously looked at and demonstrate how we can update its configuration alongside working with a Postgres database inside a Docker container. We will also see how we can expose HTTP ports into our container and share HTML files between our ASP.NET Core Docker application and the host system. Section four concentrates on helping us quickly find problems we might have in our ASP.NET Core application. We see how to do this via the ASP.NET Core integration with Docker logging and then see Visual Studio 2017's debugging support for Docker. Our final section delves into the realm of Docker orchestration tools. We review the various tools available to us and then concentrate on the most popular one, Kubernetes. The requirements for this course are as follows. You should have some experience of ASP.NET Core MVC and Docker. We do recap on some Docker concepts early on in the course, however. Windows 10 is your operating system, although Windows 8 can also be used. Virtualization enabled in the BIOS of your computer, which is required for Docker for Windows to run correctly with Linux containers. To get ahead, you should also ideally install Visual Studio 2017, Community, Professional or Enterprise Edition before starting. By the end of the course, you should be ready to build and run an ASP.NET Core application inside Docker, a blue belt ninja at production readying your application via the many Docker and .NET Core configuration options, manage your ASP.NET Core Docker images and containers, and quickly find and debug problems that may arise with your container. See how you can make life easier for yourself when updating and deploying your ASP.NET Core Docker images via the rich ecosystem of Docker orchestration tools. Thanks for choosing the course. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Now let's get started.